every piece of an iPhone. The average person checks their phone over 100 times a day. At this point, your phone is basically an extension of your brain. You know what they can do. They run generative AI in real time, they take professional-grade photographs, and let you FaceTime your friend from the other side of the planet. They're also totally inescapable and completely addictive. But have you thought about what exactly is inside? The answer is fascinating. Each and every piece is the culmination of millions of hours of research, testing, development, and manufacturing, all coming together to truly revolutionize the way we live. So let's break it down. This is Every Piece of an iPhone. It starts with the frame, and the iPhone 16 Pro uses grade 5 titanium, which makes it lighter and stronger than aluminum. The iPhone 16 and 16 Plus still have the aluminum alloy frame. Surrounding the screen is the bezel, a precision-engineered piece that seamlessly integrates the screen to the frame of the phone. These bezels keep getting smaller, and that's especially true on the iPhone 16 Pro. There are five antenna lines around the iPhone, and these lines help the device connect to millimeter wave 5G for the fastest speeds yet, at least where available. There are now five physical buttons on the iPhone 16 series, the volume rocker, the action button, the power button, and the camera control button, which is the newest addition. This button lets you jump straight into the camera and you can slide your finger on it to switch camera modes. Press and hold it and you'll activate Apple's new visual intelligence feature within Apple Intelligence that uses the iPhone camera and Siri to identify what you're looking at. Most of these features have popped up in various Android phones before, but Apple is happy to ignore that fact. The screen. The 6.9-inch Super Retina XDR OLED display was developed in South Korea and is likely sourced from Samsung or LG, with factories in South Korea, Vietnam, China, and more under construction in India. Most smartphones use Corning's Gorilla Glass technology to protect the display, but Apple and Corning have a proprietary material called Ceramic Shield, which embeds ceramic nanocrystals into the glass to make it more shatter-resistant manufactured in several countries, including the US and China. The iPhone 16 Pro range features Apple's ProMotion technology, which adjusts the number of times an image shows up on the display up to 120 times per second, though it can vary this number if the screen is static to save battery life. This is in line with most other phones as well, like those from Google, Samsung, and Xiaomi. The screens can also get significantly brighter compared to phones from five years ago, hitting 1,000 nits max, though when you're watching HDR content, that can ratchet up to 1,600 nits and even 2,000 nits when you're outdoors on a sunny day. For comparison, Google claims its Pixel 9 Pro goes up to 3,000 nits in certain conditions. On the opposite end, the iPhone can go all the way down to one nit for when you're scrolling in bed at night. The proximity sensor, likely manufactured by Trumpf in Germany, detects how close your face is to the device. A ribbon cable integrates the front ambient light sensor and helps optimize display brightness in any condition. For thermal management, the aluminum inner frame works in tandem with a heat dissipation film to keep temperatures under control. According to an Apple environmental progress report, the iPhone 16 uses 85% recycled aluminum. These materials come from places like China, the global leader in aluminum production. Inside the front assembly, there's a black plastic bracket that not only secures the front-facing camera, but also provides cushioning foam to prevent dust intrusion. Even the smallest details, like a foam strip aligned with the telephoto periscope camera, play a role in shock absorption. The back cover. The glass back cover integrates seamlessly with the magnetic MagSafe wireless charging coil. Apple introduced this MagSafe technology in the iPhone 12, and it lets you magnetically attach accessories to the back of the device from wireless chargers to magnetic bike mounts. It charges at 25 watts wirelessly, but wired charging through USB-C will always be faster. Beneath the glass lies a metal reinforcement plate, which protects the delicate internal components. The rear cameras. A sapphire crystal lens cover protects the three rear cameras and the Sony sensor sourced from Japan, and boasts ultra high hardness for scratch resistance. Though, it's worth noting this is a synthetic material used in manufacturing, like for watches, and not the blue gemstone you might be thinking of. Surrounding the lenses are foam rings that prevent dust intrusion and conductive foam pads for electrostatic protection. The three rear cameras feature anti-reflective coatings for clearer images and seven lens elements, layers of glass stacked to improve overall image clarity. This is also where you'll find the LiDAR sensor, which is still only exclusive to the iPhone Pro models. This sensor helps improve depth information for portrait mode images and is also used in augmented reality applications to map your surroundings. 
These specs put the iPhone neck and neck with the flagship models from usual competitors like the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra and the Google Pixel Pro, though the iPhone remains the only one with the LiDAR sensor. The battery. The L-shaped battery, encased in metal, is a single-cell stack design now lasting 13 more hours of video playback than the iPhone 12 from five years ago, according to Apple. Manufactured in China, it incorporates lithium and cobalt mined from countries like the Democratic Republic of Congo and Chile, sparking important conversations about ethical sourcing. Apple claims these batteries are made with 100% recycled cobalt and that every Apple-designed battery starting this year will be the same. One of the coolest innovations of late is the battery currently only available in the iPhone 16 and iPhone 16 Plus models, which we have here. Instead of being fixed to the phone with adhesive and having to be annoyingly pried off the phone to be replaced, with this battery, you just apply 12 volts and voila! That makes it much easier to replace. The sound system. The microphone is at the bottom and Apple says the Pro models have better mics than the standard iPhone 16. The top and bottom speakers are located here and here. And starting with the iPhone 13 series, Apple started including a top speaker instead of using the receiver. The Taptic engine, powered by a linear motor, delivers tactile feedback that simulates physical clicks and vibrations. The front camera. The front camera and Face ID module are significantly smaller than in years past. It all began with the notch in the iPhone X, then this notch got smaller in the iPhone 13, and Apple finally introduced the Dynamic Island in the iPhone 14 Pro, which suspends the true depth camera within the display as if it's floating. Many Android cameras have been floating for years, but apps on the iPhone can now take advantage of the Dynamic Island to show live information, such as Google Maps or Uber when you're navigating or are in the middle of a ride. And one tap can take you right back to the app. The Motherboard. At the heart of the iPhone lies the motherboard, really a marvel of miniaturization and power. The A18 Pro is a system on a chip on the main logic board, designed by Apple and manufactured by TSMC in Taiwan. It powers this device with a 6-core CPU, a 6-core GPU, and a 16-core neural engine, which handles most of the artificial intelligence and machine learning processes, now dubbed Apple Intelligence. All the new iPhones now come with 8GB of LPDDR5X RAM, a big change from prior models that only had 6 gigs. This is what enables the iPhone to handle the intensive processing required for Apple intelligence. And while we're on the topic of intelligence, Apple was recently forced to support RCS chat, so Apple and Android users can finally share modern text conversations with typing indicators and emoji reactions. Apple uses a Qualcomm modem, and this is the first iPhone to support the latest Wi-Fi 7 standard, though you'll need a Wi-Fi 7 router to actually make use of those faster internet speeds. The NAND flash storage on the Pro Max starts at 256GB and goes up to 1TB, and it's typically sourced from Kioxia in Japan. Meanwhile, the ultra-wideband chip enables precise tracking for things such as AirTags. Charging the iPhone 16 Pro has a USB-C port capable of 10 gigabits per second data transfer speeds, secured with JCIS Phillips screws. In comparison, the Lightning cable was capable of 480 megabits per second speeds, so it's 20 times faster now. The iPhone was finally forced to switch from the Lightning cable to USB-C starting with the iPhone 15 series, and this is a win for consumers, because now you can use the same cable as your MacBook or iPad to charge. And as Android users are learning, now iPhone owners will be asking them to borrow their chargers. You can even reverse charge the AirPods case with the USB-C cable. And there you have it. This is what makes an iPhone. A device that's not just an object, but a symbol of human creativity, collaboration, and complexity. So the next time you check your phone, one of a hundred times today, take a moment to appreciate the astounding journey that brought it to your hands.